what's up y'all welcome back to another video my name is Sharina, and today i'm gonna show you how to download absolutely free fonts you want to go onto this website thefont.com everything is free it doesn't cost you a thing everything in red is your categories everything under it is your subcategories so today i'm looking for a halloween font so i'm gonna click on horror and then you can scroll down and check out all the fonts that it offers you on this site again everything is free and they have hundreds on top of hundreds of fonts that you can use as you can see here under horror you have 46 pages of spooky font also under preview you can type in anything let's say for instance um my name or your name or whatever have you you would type in whatever you want to preview and then click submit over here on the side and then it would change the font of whatever you typed in to the actual font that it offers and so you can just scroll down and check out how your wording looks in each font and choose a font that you like so i'm just gonna click a font just something random just so I can show you the whole download process. So I'm gonna go with this font here. Also, be aware that sometimes each font has three different font styles. So look above download, it says three font files. It's gonna download three different fonts and it's gonna download in a zip file. Don't worry, I will show you how to remove your downloads out of the zip file. You wanna go to downloads, find your file, right click it, Click extract all files and it should extract it out of the zip file into a whole nother folder. And here you will have your three options, your three font files. You click one and it will preview it. It should. So that's not the file I want. I wanted the hollow looking file. That's not it either. So this is the hollow looking file. This is the file that I know that I wanted. Once you find the file you want, double click it and then you can click install and this will install it onto your computer. Next, you want to open up a software just to make sure that the, the font or the file is findable. Be sure to remember the name of the file. The name of the file I just downloaded or the font is called Shadow of the Dead. So I'm using Cricut Design Space as an example. I'm going to click text. My text box is going to pop up here. I can go under font and change the font of my text. It will be under system. And then I'm going to type in shadow. You don't have to type in the whole thing. I'm going to type in shadow and my font should pop up. Shadow of the Dead right here. And now I'm able to turn my text into whatever wording that I want using the font that I just downloaded. Also, sometimes your font or your keyboard needs to be on caps lock. So it should be all caps. It depends on the font, but this is it. Thanks for watching. Follow some of my other social medias if you can. And I hope this helped.